Alrighty, YouTube, Niner Empire, what is going down here? Welcome back. Cam Newton, Cam Newton, Cam Newton continues to keep Brock Purdy's name <clears throat> um, in his mouth, continues to say negative things about Brock Purdy, continues to paint this narrative that Brock Purdy is a game manager and that he's carried by his offensive weapons, but he made a, a very ignorant, stupid claim, and, and you know, to be completely honest, <clears throat> it's no surprise from a guy like Cam Newton. He is an idiot, for one. Um, he's out of the league for a reason, and he couldn't even beat out Matt Jones to keep his NFL career alive, in which Matt Jones was also beat out by Z Bailey Zappi to be the starter at one point, but that's neither here nor there. Um, Cam Newton goes on his podcast, brings up Brock Purdy once again, and makes this claim that Brock Purdy is the 10th best player on the 49ers all in all, which is absolutely ignorant. Um, basically what he said was, is he goes on to say, I've never said that Brock Purdy was trash. What I did say is that Brock Purdy is a game manager. That's not hate. That's just what I feel to be fact. But I reserve the right to say this, to be labeled a game manager. Brock Purdy has to be the best player on the offensive side of the ball, and that's not the case. Look, I'm not recanting shit, and if you really just want to be honest, if you add the defensive talent and you add the offensive talent, Brock Purdy is the 10th best player on this team. So I would love to know what nine players he ranks in front of Brock Purdy for one. And yeah, is Brock Purdy the best player on the 49ers? Probably not. There's a lot of guys on this team that, you know, are better than Brock Purdy, or I guess that have a more of a value to Brock Purdy on this team. But for one, if Josh Allen or Joe Burrow come to the 49ers, they're not even the best player on the 49ers. So I don't really understand what he means by that. Um, the only guy that would could come on to the 49ers that would make him the best player right then and there would be Patrick Mahomes. Josh Allen could be on the 49ers, and he's not the best player on the Niners. Trent Williams would have more value. Fred Warner would probably have more value. Trent, um, Christian McCaffrey would have more value. So I don't really understand why people think just to be a good quarterback in the NFL, you have to be the best player on the team. That's absolutely absurd, and that's such an ignorant remark. But again, that's no surprise coming from Cam Newton because he is ignorant. Um but yeah, so he's going on here and he's talking about how Brock Purdy is the 10th best quarterback on the team. Is Brock Purdy the best quarterback on the team or the best player on the team is what I mean. No, he's probably not because Kyle Shanahan and John Lynch have done an, a, a fantastic job in bringing in, you know, generational talents on both sides of the ball. So that like, why are we taking that away from Brock Purdy? I will never understand. Um, but at the end of the day, Brock Purdy is the best quarterback in the NFC, and I don't. I think he's kind of put that to rest uh, by blowing out both Jalen Hurts and Dak Prescott. And some Rams fans may be in these comments talking about Matthew Stafford. I'm sorry, Matthew Stafford's too old to be considered the best quarterback in the NFC. I get he's won a Super Bowl. He's going to be a Hall of Famer, but we're talking about right now. Brock Purdy, without a doubt is the best quarterback in the NFC. And if you do not agree, you can argue with the wall because you simply don't know football if you can't agree with that. Um, and, and obviously, um, the people not agreeing with that are the same people saying that Brock Purdy throws checkdowns all game, which, by the way, he led every quarterback in the NFL in deep ball statistics this year. He had the best quarterback rating throwing the ball 10 plus yards. He had the most touchdown passes throwing the ball 10 plus yards. I don't understand why people continue to, to say that Brock Purdy is a check down merchant. But at the same time, the same people saying that are the same people that aren't 49ers fans and don't watch every game. Um... What are you going to do? At the end of the day, Brock Purdy is going to continue to get hate until he's retired from the league. Um, but Cam Newton going on a limb and saying that, you know, he's he's the 10th best player on the 49. Like, come on, man. Like, that's absolutely absurd. Absolutely absurd. Um, again, it's no surprise. Like, we're talking about a guy in Cam Newton that can't even find a job as a backup on 32 NFL teams. 
also talking about a guy that had one good season in the 2015 year and then completely fell off the side of the fell off the side of the earth. Um, but hey, at the end of the day, Cam Newton's out of the league for a reason, and he's talking about Brock Purdy on his couch for a reason. Uh, because at the end of the day, Brock Purdy's going to play double the years Cam Newton played in the NFL as a starter. But that's also neither here nor there. So obviously, let me know what you guys think of these Brock Purdy haters, and specifically Cam Newton continuing to keep Brock Purdy's name in his mouth for whatever reason. Um, but again, at the end of the day, like Brock Purdy was in the MVP conversation. He did everything that all the critics were asking him to in terms of coming from behind and winning. Um, you know, uh, I don't even know, throwing the ball 10 plus yards. And I want to see him have a good game where he's airing the ball. Like he has, he has checked off every potential thing that a critic wants to say besides... Well, the Niners have a loaded team. Well, that's not changing. I'm sorry. Again, Josh Allen, Joe Burrow, there, there are probably 31 NFL quarterbacks out there that would come on the 49ers, maybe besides Lamar Jackson because he's, he's obviously a generational talent as well. But there are 30 different quarterbacks that could come on the 49ers right now, and they still would not be the best quarter, or the best player on the roster. So, again, I don't know why we're continuing to say Brock Purdy only deserves credit when he's the best player, like that, that's so absurd and, and like so ignorant to such a high degree. But again, and like, even if Brock Purdy goes out here in the Super Bowl, outperforms Mahomes, wins Super Bowl MVP, there's going to continue to be haters. Um, and Brock Purdy's always going to continue to be have haters, and that's completely fine because that actually helps out in our favor because he's always going to have a chip on his shoulder, and, and he's talked about it. He was always overlooked. He was never the biggest guy, the strongest arm quarterback coming out. Hims to why, you know, he was passed on a couple couple times, you know, in, in the NFL draft. But Brock Purdy being in, in the situation that he is and being drafted where he was, the guy's always going to have a chip on his shoulder. Um, and, again, all these critics and all these naysayers talking about Brock Purdy, Keep, keep doing it. Brock Purdy will just continue to prove you wrong. And at this point, Brock Purdy haters and Brock Purdy critics are crawling for excuses at this point because Brock Purdy has literally done everything that they wanted him to do and to see him do. Um, but yet, they're still crawling for excuses. So at this point, it's laughable. And again, Cam Newton talking about Brock Purdy. The guy's a joke. He's not in the league for a reason. Um, and again... All, I, all we kind of have to say to that is he was beat out by Mac Jones, who was then beat out by Bailey Zappi for the New England Patriots. But either way, um, I, I just had to come on here and kind of give my two cents on that because it's absolutely absurd. Cam Newton, for one, is continuing to keep Brock Purdy in his mouth. And not only that, but he clearly don't don't watch the games. He's clearly, you know, looking at – and hearing what everybody out there, every ignorant person out there hating on Brock Purdy is saying, and he's just doubling down on it. So that's really kind of why Brock Purdy has as much hate as he does is because one ignorant person out there starts a narrative, makes an article, and then everybody flocks to that and kind of says what that ignorant person wants to say about Brock Purdy. Whatever. <clears throat> Brock Purdy will continue to prove you guys wrong. <clears throat> and again... The only thing he can do to make this even much more bittersweet is to win the Super Bowl and outplay Patrick Mahomes. And again, I mean, it's not going to continue to, it's not going to like completely cut out the critics, but it will be amazing to see Brock Purdy, um, you know, or it would be amazing to see Brock Purdy go out on a limb here, win Super Bowl MVP, play his ass off in, in the biggest game of his life, win the Super Bowl. It'll be interesting to see what people will say then. Um, but again, as far as these Brock Purdy critics and haters, uh, like they're going to continue to hate. I mean, the guy literally has never said one thing controversial. He plays his ass off week in and week out. He literally does what he's asked to do from this team. And ignorant, small brain people on the outside, for some reason, feel the need to put their two cents in on it. So it is what it is. But Cam Newton, you are out of the league for a reason. Um, you know, and the only reason you're relevant at this point in time is because you're going on a podcast from your couch 
thinking you have any opinion whatsoever on a guy that's in the league that is going to be better than that, better than you ever were. Um, and the only reason you're going to continue to be relevant is by making irrational, ignorant claims like you are here. So, obviously, Niner faithful. Let me know what you guys think out there of these stupid comments from Cam Newton. Um, and obviously, let me know if there's anything. I mean, to be honest, again, I don't think there's anything Brock Purdy will ever be able to do um, to to prove these critics that to prove, I guess, that he he won't have critics at all. Like, I don't know if there's anything out there Brock Purdy will ever be able to do to not get hate because of the draft position he was selected at, and because of he's not the prototype quarterback build like. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think, though, in the comments down below. Uh, but, yeah, as always, go Niners. I'll see you guys in the next one.